everyone has an altar within them. It's called your heart. And I want you to begin to think of your body as a temple. And God made your body to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. And there's an altar within you. And the scripture says that we are to look at our hearts and that we should cleanse our hearts always because out of it are the issues of life. We should guard our hearts, make sure there's nothing there, nothing of sin there, we, that we do not regard sin within our heart. That many people believe that as a Christian, that they can have two altars. They can have an altar to God, but they can also have an altar to their flesh. Essentially, when you have an altar to your flesh, that means that you do uh, what your flesh wants. And your flesh basically is a thought is a way of thinking that is hostile to the will of God. Uh, it is basically when you are moving in things, idolatrous worship uh, that puts things, creations, creatures above the Creator. Many times Christians do that. Apostle Paul addressed this issue in 1 Corinthians 10, 18, through 22 are not those who eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altars he's speaking of sacrifices to idols what am i saying then that an idol is anything or what is offered to idols is anything no rather that the things which the gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to demons and not to god and I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. That's very powerful. I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. Now you have to understand, he was speaking to Christians. He was speaking to disciples of Jesus Christ. Are people who were very immature, I would have to say, followers of Christ. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord, which is the cup of the Lord's blessing, and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. You can't have it both ways. But people think you can have it both ways. You cannot. And you cannot use grace, the grace of God, as a license to sin. And many people do that in the church today. And that's why the church has no power. And that's why you can never have the power and the anointing of God if you haven't made the clear-cut, decisive action to lay it all down for the Lord to give your life completely, 100% to God, to sacrifice, to become a living sacrifice for Christ. You can't have it both ways. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and the tables of demons. So you have to begin to consider the things that you bow down to other than the Lord. And there are many things that you may find as you ask the Lord to search your heart. What do you bow down to other than God? Okay.